introducing stitch from Google from idea to application so I just gave this prompt and based on that it gave me this design from text to design similarly here is another design it created for me here are a few examples and you can export this to Figma as well or you can download the code so here's an example copying the Figma code and in Figma you can see it's available I'm really impressed by this the own stop solution to create stunning design just from prompt using AI you should definitely try this tool and it's available for free that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started so what stitch offers generate UI from natural language generate UI from images or wireframes rapid iteration and design exploration seamless transition to development by going to Figma and also you are able to export the code as well this is really good so I'm going to take you through step by step even if you're an absolute beginner you should be able to go through and you don't need any coding experience so go to stitch.withgoogle.com there you will have an interface like this you can develop a mobile application or a web application so I'm going to give this prompt create a dashboard for beehive management hive health indicators honey production logs pest monitors alerts queen bee status and generate design similarly I'm going to do the same for mobile application as well so for mobile just click mobile and click generate and the web is getting created and now the design is ready this is brilliant and the quality of the design is really high and I'm really impressed so you got the code here so all the code you can just copy and paste it if you're building your front end application if you want to copy that to Figma just copy this open Figma and paste here and you can see the design here this is brilliant so I had to right click and then paste here to paste the design now here is the mobile design ready for me so you can see clearly it's a hive dashboard temperature humidity honey production pest monitoring queen bee status and this is really nice if I want to edit this further click the edit icon and then here I can just say change the font clicking send can you specify which font everything and here is the modified font also there's another option to edit the theme click on edit theme and you can choose the theme you want also if you can choose dark mode it will give you dark mode you got the option to change the font here as well so you can change based on your requirement and apply theme and here is the dark mode and the requested color this is really nice also they have provided multiple examples which you can see here on the dashboard which will give you some idea on what you can create from this and I'm really impressed do let me know in the comments below what you think about this considering you already like stitch I also created another video about v0 which I highly recommend for you to watch I'll put the link in here and I will see you there